Thanks for subscribing to RotexOwner.com. In this video segment, we'll take a look at some of the Loctite products Rotex uses, and we'll cover some of the essential details when applying Loctite to blind holes. There are four primary Loctite products Rotax uses during assembly and maintenance of Rotax aircraft engines. Loctite 243, 648, 5910, and 7063. You'll find reference to where these products are used in the Illustrated Parts Catalog and the Line and Heavy Maintenance Manuals. Loctite 243 is classified as a primerless, oil tolerant, medium strength, removable thread locker. In most applications on Rotax aircraft engines, Loctite 243 is used not as a thread locker, but as a sealant against the leakage of fluid past the threads. For example, Loctite 243 is used on the oil temperature sensor to help seal the threads against the leakage of engine oil. There are some applications in Rotax aircraft engines where 243 is used as a thread locker to prevent the loosening of fastener torque. Such an example are the prop shaft bearing retention bolts within the gearbox housing. Over time, the solids in Loctite 243 will settle out of suspension. A vigorous shaking is necessary before each use to ensure that the product is properly mixed. Loctite 243 containers of any size will always come approximately half filled. There are two reasons for this. Firstly, it allows enough room in the container for proper mixing when you shake the product before each use. Secondly, Loctite 243 is an anaerobic compound. This means it will cure in the absence of oxygen. The empty airspace keeps the Loctite from curing in the container. Loctite 648 is classified as a high strength retaining compound. It's also an anaerobic compound, which means it'll cure when you remove the oxygen. Unlike 243, Loctite 648 is not oil tolerant. Surfaces must be clean and free of oil or grease for proper adhesion and curing. Loctite 648 does not have any solids suspended, so it doesn't require shaking before each use. Loctite 5910, or 5910, is classified as an RTV silicone flange sealant. It's designed to be oil tolerant and can withstand high joint movement. Rotax uses this product to seal component housings such as gearbox cover and ignition housing. Loctite 598 is a compatible RTV flange sealant, which is commonly available in smaller sizes such as 70 milliliters or 15 milliliter tubes. Loctite 7063 is classified as a solvent-based general parts cleaner. This is a general degreaser cleaner and can be substituted with many common degreasers such as brake parts cleaner, acetone, or MEK. In the illustrated parts catalog, you'll commonly see 7063 listed for use where 648 is used. When applying Loctite, do not touch the tip of the container to the fastener. Any contamination could affect the properties of the product in the tip or throughout the whole container. Remember to thoroughly and vigorously shake Loctite 243 before each application. A clean, oil-free surface is preferable for application, but when not practical, Loctite 243 is tolerant to an oily surface and will prime itself for proper adhesion. When applying Loctite to a blind hole, it's very important to follow Loctite's required procedures to ensure proper coverage and adhesion. A blind hole is where you have a hole that is drilled to a specific depth but does not break through to the other side of the workpiece. Shaken Loctite thread locker 
should be placed down the sides of the threads in the hole itself. This is to ensure that the Loctite coats all the threads of the hole and the fastener and that no air is trapped inside the blind hole. If the Loctite is placed on the threads of the fastener only, air is trapped within the blind hole and will escape past the threads as the fastener is tightened. This will cause the Loctite to be forced out of the hole and proper coverage will not be achieved. In addition, air can become trapped within the blind hole. Remember that 243 is an anaerobic compound which cures in the absence of oxygen. Any air trapped inside the blind hole may prevent the Loctite from properly curing. When applying Loctite 648, a clean, oil-free surface is required for proper adhesion. Rotax documentation says to use Loctite 7063 degreaser. Any general degreasing solvent will work. Many maintenance facilities use non-chlorinated brake cleaner for this purpose. When applying Loctite 648 to aluminum coolant elbows on a Rotax 912-914 series engine, the elbows do not require full tightening. If the elbows need to be left slightly loose to achieve proper orientation, the 648 retaining compound is designed to fill in the space between the threads and cure, locking the elbows in position and creating a seal. Loctite 5910 or 598 is used on aluminum housings such as gearbox and ignition housing. Now since the factory machining of these housings is quite precise, only a small amount of sealant is required. Application with a foam roller or by dabbing with your finger provides a thin, even coating of sealant. Too thick a layer of sealant will cause the excess sealant to be squeezed out from between the mating surfaces, making a mess and potentially contaminating internal components or plugging oil galleries. Loctite thread lockers and retaining compounds begin to cure as soon as you insert the fastener and remove the air. Make sure you torque the fasteners relatively soon after installation, since if the Loctite begins to cure, it could affect proper torquing. Now many people are surprised that all Loctite products have a shelf life and expiry date. In the safety critical world of aviation, please err on the side of caution and replace any expired product. Remember to keep your products fresh and replace them after their expiry dates. Vigorously shake bottles of Loctite 243 before each use to ensure proper mixing. Avoid contaminating the tips of the bottles. And remember proper application procedures on blind holes. That's it for this Rotax Minute segment. Thanks again for subscribing to RotaxOwner.com.